right, um, this is Emma Warren, and it is Friday, uh, December 3rd at approximately 4 p.m. If I get raped and serial killed, it was probably William from Tinder. So, uh, what do you, what do you want here? Like, from this date, or? Or, oh, food. Yeah, or drinks. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, looking to connect with somebody. The, the apps are great for that, but unless your equation adds up perfectly, your job plus your height divided by distance, then that's just an instant swipe to the next. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my mono mate Emma, coming home from another Tinder adventure. Emma, tell us, how did it go? It's like ruining the end of a movie. If you already know what type of person you want, then it's not much of a surprise when you get it. Get what? What do you think I want? You know, a happy ending. <laughs> not, not like a happy ending, but you know, a happy ending like in a in a movie. Mm, who's Adam? Oh, he's just this guy from Tinder. You're very pretty. You're quite handsome. We should make a deal that all future forms of communication, phone call only. How about all future forms of communicating must be done in person? Unless we're making plans to see each other. At which point, you know, a phone call or a handwritten note will do. Okay, it's a deal. It's not even the lamp that I'm upset about. You know, it's the fact that we had this great night out followed by a really great night in, and, and then she's taken off as if it were a one-night stand. Maybe it was. I'm not bi, I'm straight. You're meeting up with a guy from Grindr, so you're not straight. I am a well-spoken man. I have feelings and a sense of humor. The same way that you can love more than one book or one movie, I can love more than one person. But how do you know you're not just spreading your love thin? How do you know you can measure love? I feel like we're finally penetrating each other. 